Walmart. Mm -hmm. it's, and like, it's literally just one day in a day. I'm like, I don't care about this. Like, tell me I'm going to Now, keep in mind, as you throw out ideas, you're probably going to have to explain them to the old guy in the room. So, be, be, be patient. The wall. The wall, the border wall. The border wall. Still, still in news, certainly. Okay, so border wall, um, and like immigration going along yeah. with, okay. Yeah, yes. Okay. Thanks for starting off with one that I at least am not yeah, that's about. Right. I appreciate it. Return of the Jonas Brothers. Did you go to the concert last night? That's amazing. Yes. Rebecca won. It was super expensive and it was very expensive. How is that, what, PPG? Yeah. yeah. Everything is now good in the world. Yeah. 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 Visco, Visco, V S C O. Like that? Yeah. You said Visco girls. And 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 Kier is one of these. Like I could pretty much, I could be like the borderline like basis. No, you, you are, you are straight up. Like, I don't like, like it. You are fun. Okay, because some of them wear, like, tennis friends. You just clean like, 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 you're like, I wear, like, I can't take it back. You're a visco. No. You can take it back. Leah. This is the app called TikTok. Mm-hmm. I'm. That. Let me explain. The term visco originally originated from TikTok. And, but Visco is its own app, but no one really uses, like, no, I'm not saying that. What? Is, is, is TikTok C's? It's, no, it's K-I-K-K-S-H-A. It's like Kesha, like Kesha. TikTok and Kesha are spelled the same. No, the song by Kesha. No. Okay. Oh, that one. Wait, So, with different, I would say, from apathy, but so far as tension in, in politics, you hear about like the squad that Trump, you know, is kind of having back and forth with and, and things like that. Uh, so, there would certainly be tension going on there. <laughs> Taylor. Oh my I need help. Okay. She, she she said it. Let her explain. Okay. Do we get it? Do we get a dash? Yes. Uh, Josh, we already heard from you, Paige. We'll come back. Yeah. I forget who, what her name was, but like she got her out of jail. Oh, her name is, um, and then like her Yeah. I, oh, I can use my phone. I can do it, but I don't know her name. It's Kim Kardashian. She's that late. Like, <laughs> she, like, for this lady, she, like, she came for her. No, I don't know that one. Like, I don't know that one. Like, I know Kim yeah, Kardashian, but I have the whole freeing of. She, yeah, she was. Like, I don't know if it was like wrongfully, but like, I don't really know they like sentenced her to life, but the, I don't know. It's, yeah, it was like, it was like, 
Did it, like, do the same crime? Like, yeah, but she, I don't know if it was, like, a whole, like, racial thing, or, like... Was she the one, um, there was, uh, I can't remember her name, where she, I think she got life for murder for, um, she, but she was sexually abused by someone. I don't remember the whole situation. I don't know if it was that, like, was it someone who was, who was already, like, in prison for a while? Yeah, she was in prison, and, okay. like, she was supposed to, like, have life or something. I'm not 100% sure of that. It was, like, a big thing because, like, Kim Korea. I might know who you mean, but I'm not 100% sure yeah. if it's the same match. Avengers Endgame. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not the Morgan? Mm-hmm. And real, like, even, like, you can even go, like, Disney remakes in general, because, like, with Lion King, Aladdin, and, you know, a whole bunch of, of the others. Storming Area 51. Oh, yes! Wait, I'm coming up soon, like, September 20th. Josh? I bought a t-shirt. I had said thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Coco Golf. What? Coco Golf. What? what? She was a 15-year-old tennis player. Oh, well, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. You, said, you said golf. I didn't realize last year. C-O-C-O. for a C-O-C-O. No, no. G-A-U-F. G-A-U-F. Okay. No, Addie was, my 12-year-old, 11-year-old was asking about her the other day, like, was she in the finals for the U.S. Open? I'm like, no. And then it was like, did Serena win? No. And then she was like, okay, never mind. Kiara, and then go, Selena. <laughs> When are we getting to Kosh yet? I'm waiting for a tour. I'm going to just put Donald Trump because then that could end up being like 50 different things down the road as well. So yeah, yours included. Yeah, plus. yeah, no. no I, I don't mean to like the meaning what you put. Royal baby. Royal baby. Wait, you can talk to the Josh won't put Lizzo on his list. I refuse to put Lizzo on his list. Lizzo's so good. Yeah. Oh, he did it. Just for Josh, I, I did it. This is a very like broad category, but I feel like um, a lot of rappers' uh, new albums came out with a lot of um, mixing of rappers in the same song. Covers? Where that hasn't really been a thing. Okay, so it's like, um, so yeah, I was going to say collaboration as opposed to like mixing and doing old stuff. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'll just do. Oh, they're doing like covers. Wait, I feel like the old town. Taylor, just kind of to go down the list. 
thrown here. Oh, yes. That's PR. That's PR. Yes. They say it. I can never spell her name right. And then B, what's after B? E, E, L, L. And unfortunately, like, mass shootings kind of tend to go along with that, so... Like especially like Missouri and a, and a lot of different states. So like um, state and I'll go slash federal abortion rights laws. The Joel. Slash Nick Gods. Joel slash Nick. Yeah, what is it? So it's been a year? Yeah. But the whole new thing about it is like how the Yeah, yeah. Uh, saving the turtles, like all the metal straws and like. I'll put metal straws. Yeah. And then. All right, a couple more. Taylor. Notre Dame. Oh, oh, yeah, Notre Dame. I forgot about that. Yeah, Amazon fires. Amazon fires. All right. Last one. So, Morgan will now read through our entire list for us, so that we... <laughs> Alright, so what this lets you know is, there's a lot of stuff going on. Here's, here's what we are going to do, and it doesn't mean necessarily that we are going to um, take only from what's right here. Um, we might kind of group some things together, we might kind of end up bringing in some new things, People, this can get kind of complicated, but hey, we'll give it a shot. Uh, and we're probably not going to, we're definitely not going to finish it today, but this will be something Thursday um, after I come back that, that we'll try to tie up. Um, our next speaking assignment is going to be, uh, it's a spar debate, but it's a spar debate where topics will already be known. Okay, so we're going to come up with, I wouldn't want to go beyond five, um, four or five topics. Um, and the things that you want to consider, like, are they debatable? Meaning, is it something where you can take opposing sides to it? Um, and is it dynamic enough in, in that you know, the people care? So are you going to do a debate specifically about Game of Thrones? No, because not everyone has watched it or, or, or has interested in it and things like that. 
but we could certainly still come up with you know some kind of debate about like Hollywood in general, movies, Netflix, you know, HBO, whatever the case may be. We want to come up with topics where we'll have four resolutions, four or five. You would research those resolutions over a decent period of time. We'll give you about a week, and then you're going to debate. Um, and it's going to be a little more formal than what we did before because it'd be something where Josh would be able to prepare for a debate, Blake would be able to prepare for it, you'd be coming up with notes and sources and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we want it to be of things that are going to be of, like, you know, hopefully interest. To say it'll be of interest 100% is, is probably not legitimate, but at least something that is going to be of relevance to us. Uh, and so the reason that coming up with the top 10 list of pop culture is what, what's kind of relevant in the world, what's going on, and now, okay, what are some resolutions that, that we want to make? So, um, you know, music or whatnot, I thought about collaboration and things. We could have a topic where it would say music in 2019, you know, is, is far superior than, like, years past or whatever. Or it could go flip where, you know, music has kind of gone downhill or movies have gone downhill because Disney's just doing remakes as opposed to original content and, and that kind of stuff. The more general the resolution, I think more often than not, the better, because it gives you the ability to tie in multiple things. Um, so, for example, uh, who, said the, who said Jules? Mm -hmm. Leah said, so, um, you know, you could have a topic like um, U.S. government should regulate personal well-being or personal health. And that could tie in with jewels, that could tie in with legalization of marijuana, that could tie in with like al alcohol, tobacco use, obesity. Um, in a lot of cities, this is in 2019, it was probably, I don't know if it was 2018 or 2017, um, where Philadelphia did a sugar tax, and a lot of large cities have done that. So the, uh, the Philadelphia one was like a penny per ounce, I think, of, of a sugary drink kind of thing. So if you bought a 16 ounce, um, you know, power aid, you would have 16 cent tax. Where it started to become a little bit more controversial was if you bought a case of Pepsi, well, 24 times 12 ounces, you were now paying a couple bucks in tax money for, for a case. So, you know, the idea, and not saying that we should do this one, but a phrase like that, US government should or should not regulate personal well being, would be a general topic that you'd be able to pull in multiple things with when it comes to jewel, sugar, whatever. So that's kind of the task before us now of, of the things that we have said. Um, and it's not, and we want to make sure that we kind of get a mix. Like we wouldn't want things where it's, you know, nonstop, you know, social media app based, um, nor would we want to get things where it's all political based. But the hope is that we can get a, a little bit of a mix. So general question, statement, do you, of the things that we've mentioned, do you see any that kind of start to piece together or that you can think of some general statements that you think would be argumentative that would tie in with the things that we've said? A lot of the ones like the Which I think more often than not, like, uh, Social media, over the last couple of years that, that I've been doing this, social media is tied in um, somehow, some way. And, and this would be one where I would say you probably want to have like maybe a social media type resolution. Um, things that come off the you know top of the head would be social media has been a benefit for us. Social media keeps us more connected. Um, we had a, uh, Pitt actually gave us a topic, because we have to do Pitt topics every year. Pitt gave us a topic, I think it was like three or four years ago. I think it was around when presidential election was going on, social media helps disseminate democratic information or like democracy. Like it, it promotes it because you now have voices coming from all over like in, in the one area. Um, so like I think a social media topic would, would certainly make sense. Any ideas as how we want to word it or other topics that you definitely want to cover. But like general concepts I think are a good place to start. Did you have like a wording in mind? No, I was just going to say that. Okay, we'll see you. Oh, there's another one. Come back. Entertain, like some kind of entertainment. Um. Yeah, I mean, we could certainly take a look at change, could take a look at lyrics, could take a look at, you know, does um, 
not that we have to get into our music lyrics appropriate or inappropriate and, and things like that, um, but but yeah, that's certainly a wide area that we could do. If you have like things that come to mind, sure, you can throw them out there. I'm, I'm going to flip it, okay. just so that it doesn't sound like we're doing two negative ones, because well, yeah, but, but, it's two sides, right? so, yeah, so the idea is you could do, like, social media positively impacts, um, you were saying face-to-face? -face? Yeah, like, face-to-face. Um, you could... To, and, and you guys as high school students would have a better pulse on this. Um, and this is a really general one. Lack of exposure to pop culture limits adolescent development. So let me say that again. Lack of exposure to pop culture limits adolescent development. Comparing of an 11-year-old, all right? So she's in sixth grade. And an eight-year-old, who's like closer to 17, I mean, than she is to eight. Um, well, you know, and, and you, people in your lives kind of deal with this as well, where, um, and music lyrics would probably be a good example, um, where my 11-year-old, like, music is just blowing up for her now. And so she, you know, she's, she's, she's going in all directions. Um, do I want to be aware of what she's listening to? Yeah. Um, and are there going to be limitations to what she can listen to? Absolutely. And same thing with like what she can watch. Um, like someone said, I can't watch, you know, I'm not supposed to watch Game of Thrones. Uh, she's not watching Game of Thrones anytime soon. Um, at the same time, what do I worry about if I shelter her all the way to Addy? It's kid bop and nothing else. There's, there's going to be some tensions, you know, in the upcoming middle school, probably the toughest three years in the first place. Let's throw some more things on it. So, you know, you could kind of come up with, and, and certainly a big argument about not just like music and entertainment, but like, you know, popular culture in general, I think, tends to be morality. And in some ways, morality is even like a, a pop culture issue. You know, how, how do you govern it? Should you govern it? Is it, a, is it a role that like schools should be involved with morality and, and whatnot? Um, but, you know, that, that whole dynamic dilemma of what should Josh know about so that he can have a productive and happy social life? And what's crossing the line as to it could start to cause a decline in, in his value? So, you know, the, the, that's even kind of like a wording that we can look at. Not saying we should do that, but, you know, a way to kind of phrase it. It, it gets tough. You know, Leah, where you're talking about, you know, and I even kind of said this, you know, that music today is better than, than you know, music from before or whatnot, because that gets to be a really difficult one to, to ultimately, well, how do you support that, you know? Um, and, and, like, similar things with uh, with abortion rights and, and whatnot. You're, you're not really probably going to have too many debates anymore about whether or not abortion, well, I shouldn't say this because it is kind of getting debated again. For a long time, there weren't debates about whether or not abortion should be legal or evil. You're always going to have folks who are for it. You're always going to have people who are against it. Um, legislation that started to not pass in states, what was always coming up, was that uh, if, a, if, a, if a person wants to have an abortion, they need to have a sonogram done that day. And no state ever passed it, but the idea was it was a guilt trip. So you're going to take a sonogram. Here's the fetus. Do you want to have an abortion? Um, and so, like, that would be, like, a, a debate that isn't morally right to, to make someone do that before.
for having an abortion or, or whatnot. So, you know, those are ways that, that things can, I don't want to say get twisted, but ways that arguments can get altered so that it's not always just the, yes, I'm for this, or no, I'm against this kind of thing. Yeah. So you're not, a legal age you're not talking about whether there's parental consent or not, but just simply, like, even if parents are in favor of it, it shouldn't happen before this age kind of thing. Yeah, well, I mean, you could do it either way. You could say, like, parental consent with a certain age or mm -hmm. whatever the kid feels like they want to be at whatever age they want to be. Like I'm just going to put, like, gender identity rights. Yeah. Um, we're in school. A big thing that's kind of coming up is, is homework. More and more schools are talking about like eliminating homework. Or, yes. or, I'm, I'm pretty sure North Allegheny already has eliminated homework because I don't yes, see it. Yes, they did. The literally, they get like oh rarely any. Or what's what's also now. being talked a lot about is pushing back to school days. You know, we're we're kind of changing school times and, and things like that. In, in in Pennsylvania, I would say State College where Penn State is, but the high school State College probably has had the most dramatic change that they did. And I forget all I can look, something that can look up, but you know, I, I think it's like 9:30 that they start. It, but they really went. They they it does. Um, and, and again, I can't speak from memory as to how it goes. I'll give them credit. They pretty much thought it out to a T as to how they were going to, to go about it and do it. So, you know, even educational things, you know, homework, um, AP classes, college. Does Adele need to go to college? Or should Adele feel forced to go to college? Um, you know, it would certainly be things that we could look at. Well, like with what you said about like changing times and stuff, like there's like you can argue like yeah. Should that be a change? Yeah. So, like the argument that younger, like elementary, would start before yeah. high school and, and things like that. Um, the, I think the one. I shouldn't say the one thing. I think a significant roadblock, especially in Western PA, is weather. Because parents, I don't think, feel as comfortable with the first or the second grader going out at 6.45 or whatnot in the snowy weather. Um, yeah. And then I would say, I think it out a lot more like what it takes to work. Yeah. All right, we should have a few minutes. You're, I think you're talking about the survey thing, but I, I have, I'm pretty sure I have it filled out. I'll talk to you about that after, after class. A lot of people fill out the form, but it still might say on Google Classroom that it didn't formally submit because you have to determine what you are. Social media, and like as as a as a teacher, like because you said like pressure kind of is like the main thing. Um, as as a teacher, and I can't probably I can't say this is what the data was 15 years ago or, or whatnot, but I would say a higher percentage of students every year um, will have you know 504 accommodations, IEP accommodations that deal with stress, anxiety, and, and things like that. Um, and there's a couple ways that, that it could get looked at. But number one, there's too much stress that, that is coming on the typical high school student. Uh, and I think a lot of people would start nodding at yes and things like that. Um, what the, uh, the the old time person is going to say about kids these days? They got it so easy. They don't even know what real stress is. They're not really that much anxiety. They're just kind of overreacting. And so, and I'm not saying that is the answer, but that's like the two different, you know, mindsets that would be going on. 
that you know stress that teenagers deal with today is heightened compared to 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Um, those of you that have read the last lecture, um, you know, that some of you did in 10th grade and, and whatnot. My favorite line, and again, not saying this is therefore I'm in the old time, but Randy's complaining to his mother about the stress of getting ready for his doctorate degree and all that kind of stuff, and she goes, I know what you mean, son. Your father was fighting the Germans when he was your age. We all have to deal with it sooner or later. But that's like, you know, kind of the old time, suck it up and deal with it. Uh, but but certainly, I, it, there is, I think, a greater awareness and suicide rates, cyberbullying, you know, those pressures have certainly escalated that weren't there before. Um, I'm, I'm, this is weird because I teach in high school. I'm glad I'm not a student in high school <laughs> anymore because I don't have to deal with myself then. Um, but if, if, if Zelaine and I had an issue, you know, where we didn't get along, when the school day was over, our beef ended because there wasn't, you know, other than face to face communication, there wasn't posting things and, and all that kind of stuff that's going on. Or in today, you know, if Zelaine and I have an issue, it's a 24-7, 365, as much as we want it to be, kind of issue that we can constantly be, be you know, um, whether it be picking, bullying, escalating, whatever. So those pressures, they're certainly different than they were before, and the effects of them are, are becoming, yeah, I, I think it's pretty obvious, damaging. So I'm going to save this, and then Thursday is when we'll kind of come back to these things.